everyone. Welcome back to another spicy Tempest trial run. Um, I brought the 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 finest crew in the world, uh, a sick Wily, uh, an incapacitated Tacho, and Jordy, who can take care of us. Hello. <laughs> What's poppin', sexies? Oh, sexies! I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we're back for another another Tempest trial because I guess we're gonna get like three in a month. Mm -hmm. Hey, yeah. I ain't complaining. <laughs> I I'm free to play. I need all the orbs I can get. Yeah, what well, better yeah, way to start the video than bashing Fae Pass? Yeah, I was gonna say like right before we started recording, we we're basically like bashing the Fae Pass and talking about how the recent Resplendent heroes that we've been getting have kind of been like trash, honestly. Ah, yeah, I can't so... look at the friend list. My game will crash. <laughs> okay, the the first resplendent that made me realize this is not good was Sarah. And no oh. offense to Glitter Valkyrie, obviously. She had a ton of fun with the resplendent Sarah. Mm -hmm. But I remember back when the Fae Pass started, they were kind of giving us, like, a lot of meta-relevant characters. Like, we got <laughs> Ike, we got... Elliewood at the time, Elliewood was like one of the best free to play merges you could go for. Yeah. We got Cordelia actually. She's a pretty solid lance flyer at the time. Mm -hmm. Though a lot a lot a lot of the early resplendents were actually pretty good. Mm -hmm. Now you just look at the resplendents we're getting now, it's like Est. Who the hell is gonna use Est in this day and age? <laughs> There's probably yeah. someone out there like, hey, hey Tacho. <laughs> then we got Florina just now. I actually like the artwork upgrade they gave to Florina with that, but... Yeah, me too. I would agree. I mean, the artwork for the most part usually looks good, but I would agree that we've been getting a lot of units nowadays that, like, unless you're a diehard fan of specific, you know, the specific character, then, like, there's... It's not really much of an incentive to keep the Fae Pass around. Yeah, exactly. And I think the Resplendent Heroes were one of the best selling points to it at first. Mm-hmm. Yes. And now they're just like releasing garbage resplendents that nobody is ever going to use. Exactly. And what, I mean, something that's also kind of, that was kind of dead on arrival too was the fact that like the resplendent bonus, you know, like it really only gave like plus two to all stats. And this was, of course, back when the Fate Pass first started. And now here we are and like that's still all they're getting. So it's like, it's really not even doing much to like revitalize those old ass units that, you know, like. Like yeah, much, nope. yeah. yeah, it's not going to do much, though. Another problem, too, is that a lot of these units have already gotten refined, so there's just no hope left. <laughs> oh, yeah, absolutely. You're so right. Like, Most of these are, yeah, are ancient units at this point. Yeah, Est has one. Florina has one. Both of them have refines, and they are not good. They're yeah. so outdated. <laughs> yeah. Flor Florina's is, like, effective against armor, and then she gets all stats up four. It I thought it was close defense. Enough. Wasn't it a close defense refine? I think so. You, I think it's when the enemy initiates on her, she gets all sets of four. Oh. She's just effective against armor. Oh, yeah, because she's <laughs> so tanky. So, so Wiley, in your expert opinion, how does that stack up to, say, I don't know, Fallen Edelgard, who has minus one special trigger, distant counter, Minus six attack and defense on the foe. She gets a free second <laughs> action when she attacks. Okay. She has, <laughs> she has damage reduction on the first hit. She has also fucking... The list goes know, on. It, okay. Like... Um, I've heard the argument that okay with S is that she... Could, um, I guess if you set up, she can't take on fallen edelgard but you need to have two other flyers okay but florina <laughs> probably not <laughs> okay well let me just interject there again with est okay so she has the triangle attack and she's effective against flying well you know what i just use bride catria who gives triangle attack to everybody oh uh, i, I... Disgusting. <laughs> yeah there's like actually no reason to use est or florina Unless so they're sad. your favorites. And we all know that, like, the next time we get a Shadows of Valentia banner, we're just going to end up getting a new Est anyway that's going to power creep this one. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> so sad. Thanks a lot, Fae Pass. Bring it $10 a month for, like... <laughs> <laughs> I said this yesterday! 
yesterday, yeah. but ten dollars a month for okay, Tacho. How you told me yesterday how Dokkan released like an auto start and it's free to everyone. Yes. Oh, wow. <laughs> yes. Not only that, okay, so here's another comparison. So Dokkan has a similar subscription service just like they pass. Except you want to know what you get from the Dokkan one? What? <laughs> you get stones, which are the equivalent of orbs in this game. So okay. right, let, let's say you headed over to the shop, the orb shop in Fire Emblem Heroes, and you wanted to buy orbs. Mm -hmm. So let, let's say you wanted to buy, I don't know, maybe... Which one is the good one? 77 orbs for 40 bucks? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, so that's roughly like the price. It's actually a little bit better in Dokkan. You pay about $40 and you get 90 dragon stones. Oh, okay. So wow. here's how the subscription service works in that game. So you pay $10 a month mm -hmm. and you get a total of 100 dragon stones. The way that they do it is on the first day, you get a bonus five. And then you get three every login. So every time you log into the game, every day of the month, you get an extra three dragon stones on top of whatever other login bonuses there are. So for 10 bucks, you're getting like 100 dragon stones in total. That's insane. And then you just, it piles up. So you do that over the course of, I don't know, maybe like four or five months. And the same amount of money that you would pay for the 77 orb pack in this, let's say, Imagine if the Fate Pass gave you 80 orbs for 10 bucks every month. <laughs> so after four months, what is that? Like 320 orbs that you could have gotten if it was similar to the way they do it in Dokkan? I would like that. That's insane. Oh, no. Fate Pass sucks. <laughs> and here we are getting resplendent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. <laughs> I still feel the need to paywall all the good features out of Fae Pass. Like, you want to spark on the new shiny new seasonal banner or legendary banner? Guess what? You got to have Fae Pass. Yeah. Or if if you want to have auto start to just make your life easier, you got to have Fae Pass. Like, come on, man. Just give that to everybody. Why not? It's $10. It's almost $10 a month. I've been going on and on, but it's like $10 a month. Dude, HBO Max isn't even that expensive, right? Yeah, for real. <laughs> I, I have I pay like 6.99 for Disney Plus, and I use it every day. So, I mean, why would I pay for Fate Pass when I could just watch all my favorite movies, all my favorite shows? I don't know. That's so funny. <laughs> Ah. So, Jordy, Jordy, you are the one Fae Pass owner in this group. What What I, are your thoughts? Um, I, I've, because especially once I heard that you were, like, canceling Fae Pass, I considered it. But the reason I still have it is the same reason I continued to have it a year ago. It's just for the auto battle. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. so good. Especially because I have two accounts that I, you know, that I run. It really helps a lot if I don't have to worry about one of them. Because I can just uh. have auto battle on while I'm at work. And, like, I don't yeah. have to worry about Tempest Trial or Forging Bonds. It just does it on its own. And that's, like, really yeah. nice. That's the one feature I would say is the one thing that I've felt. Since yeah. Quitting the Fate Pass. It's like, I have to manually do Tempest Trials and stuff. <laughs> that, that really sucks. It really stings, and I notice it every time I hop back onto my alternate account. I'm like, oh, I have to do this. I have to, like, carve time into my schedule. And usually I'm multitasking. Like, I'm usually, like, watching something at the same time, but I have to I have to sit down and do the clicking in order to make it happen, and it's just, you know. I've never seen this Fae Pass option before. Was that because I had Fae Pass and I never saw this right here? <laughs> was yeah. This yeah. <laughs> I've never seen that before. <laughs> I love this icon. Look at all the stuff you can get by having Fate Pass. You get the you get one orb, heroes. one Grail, one refined stone, one resplendent, one code. Wow! It's <laughs> ridiculous. It, there's yeah, it's just not <laughs> nowhere near as good as that little thing makes it look. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you should uh, click on the resplendent heroes icon so we can just briefly scroll through all the resplendent heroes we've gotten over the past few months. Oh, okay. Right, how Here's a little, like, test. Let's click on the recent Resplendent Heroes and 
Oh, you could have done so from the Fey Pass option, I think. From where you yeah, were at the shop. Oh! Regardless, let, let's just check. When was the last time we got a really good Resplendent hero? Uh, Ishar looks really nice. Sorry, but that's like the best, res the best um Resplendent we've gotten in a while. <laughs> well, I mean, artwork aside, because yeah, the the artwork is generally good and <laughs> definitely better than the old ones. Like, look at the old Ishtar artwork. She looked pretty bad. She um, ah! she had a pretty good weapon refine, didn't she? Like, do people use her? I don't actually remember what her refine was. I don't either. <laughs> <laughs> it, I think it gave her um, partial no follow up. I think and like yeah. speed. Um, when I think of like the last solid unit that I remember people raving about getting a resplendent, it was Soth, which wasn't that long ago. So, but like obviously he's like he's good relative to like book one, book two units. Yeah, like, yeah I mean, if you're yeah. running a dagger unit now, it's got to be Yuri or or Yuri. Or, um, uh, only yeah, Yuri. Really is. Yeah. <laughs> only Yuri. There's, well, there's there's also the Fafner. He's pretty good. The New Year one. Oh, I was gonna say, what's a new one from Telius that we got in December? Volk. Um, Volk. Volk. Yeah, he's good. He, yeah, he's really good too. But uh, Yuri's like almost like uncontested as far, he's just so far ahead of the pack because of his freaking so like, uh, Kanto shenanigans. His bullshit. <laughs> yes. I mean, I'd go as far as to say he's the best infantry unit in the game, period. Like, not just Dagger. He's just Ooh. better. Yeah, you're probably right. Damn, I never got an Ike. Huh. Okay. <laughs> you never got... Oh, never... that's one of my favorites. I love Resplendent Ike. I never got Resplendent Ike. <laughs> oh, he looks so good. Huh. Okay. Yeah, I like him, too. Huh. I like him so much, I haven't used him in years. Oh, really? Tacho. Oh. <laughs> When was the last time I used them? Um, oh, that makes me sad. Because I remember you brought him to uh, the rival domains. That we I had, think or, sorry, that was the, la the last time he used them was in rival domains, huh? <laughs> no, no. Wait, did he have his refine at that time? I don't think he did. Uh, no, he no, that was, did not. No, that was too far behind. And you still used yeah. them. <laughs> yeah, I used them for a, a good bit after he got his refine. And then introduced save skills. And it was like, okay. I don't need to use Ike. I can just use save skills, and that's it. That's true. But yeah, here's the the Sarah that you you were talking about, and then we got Ryoma, but whatever. Yeah. And then no Noe. I can't even like talk shit about Noe because Noe is a good merge project, a good a good free to play merge project, and like yeah, she's I, relatively okay. Uh, Noe can still do damage, and then Ishtarm. I mean, I won't build her, but oh my god, this is like my favorite artist in Faye. So, I love this Resplendent. I'm glad she was the last one I got. <laughs> it does look amazing, the art. Yeah. But then, like, every, see, everything else is like, uh... Yeah. yeah, so, the thing about Sarah that irks me the most is that they gave uh -huh. her a, a Resplendent, and they couldn't even bother to give her a refine, too. Uh, yeah, that does. That does sting. I did... I Yeah, I noticed that, too. When, when are we actually going to start getting staff refines for the demote staff units? Never. Because so it hasn't happened. They can't, they can't give demote, demote staff units a refine, but they can release something ridiculous like Fallen Edel Guard. Okay. <laughs> it's so sick. It makes no sense. But I, I don't understand why not, though, because we're, we're actually getting good staffs now. It's, it's not like it would be that hard to refine the staffs. Because we have... um. This base has a good one. Oh man, what, what was that guy's name again? Saul, I think, right? Saul. Oh, Saul. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. So, his staff is pretty good. And then we yeah. have the the Zane on this banner. He has a really good staff too. The Serpentine one. That one's really good too. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's um. um it's deep um wounds. deep wounds. And it's deep wounds and pain. So it literally just yeah. power crept pain by adding deep wounds added on top of it. It's that. like a power crept um savage blow because it it hits the yeah. target and well well just power crept because it also hits the target because regular savage blow just hits um the oh, the, the foes. Yeah, it's just the yeah. splash. What the heck? This is a good staff. <laughs> it is a pretty good staff, yeah. yeah. On a demo with oh boy, I guess Defra solo three you shouldn't have. It makes it yeah. easier to fodder off Dussel now. 
Because now you can take the the solo four and the lull skill if you wanted to. Oh yeah, he has the four skill. Okay. Yeah, that's why. Yeah. Okay. Huh. And then dazzling that's staff because they still won't release dazzling staff in like a demote unit because. <laughs> I'm like waiting for dazzling staff to get added as a seal. Like I'm surprised that that hasn't happened yet. That would be an interesting seal. We're still waiting for guard three. Sorry, but that's yeah, true. You're <laughs> no, right. guard. Th actually, like guard three would kind of be OP as a seal. You can't tell Believe me that guard not. three will be OP when something like fallen Edelgard exists. <laughs> oh, but because the, the way that people are running their save skill armors right now is by just spamming Aegis and Ice Mirror and stuff. If you have guard, you can deny them of that and. It's kind of broken now that we've gotten all these brave attacking mages like Winter Lysithia and Ninja yeah, Corrin and true. stuff. Oh my yeah, god, all true. the um the the stocks for the um those guard weapons that were released in that one Halloween banner, <laughs> those are going to start to go up cuz those have guard in them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't yeah, I, I think I think PM1 had reindeer bow on his Felix on his defense team. Yeah, like that kind. Of, there's that weapon, and then like the the really crappy um, Halloween weapons from a long time ago. That literally all it was is his guard. And that's it. Yeah. Well, since we're on the topic of Zayn, uh, did anyone expect this unit in the the boring desert banner? <laughs> no, uh, I did not. No, I think he was actually a random addition here. But being said, I I actually like it when they mix it up on the banners and they don't stick to one game to focus on uh-huh so i like think when it... they oh sorry go, go ahead, ahead. No. i was just gonna say that um <laughs> when they release different characters from different games on the same banner i think I like that more than just focusing on one thing yeah uh -huh. yeah i think it's really weird that we have two zanes in the game and they're both seasonal alts I think that's strange. Yeah. Funny how they like... funny how they chose Zane. Like I would have like never guessed. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, because like you, especially I don't know. I think I agree with Tacho that it is fun to see like multiple games represented across one banner. Um, I just think it's a weird choice of characters for the entire banner. I think Zane is probably for me the oddest one because you have like this entire banner full of like. Uh, let's face it, like, baity women, like, who've got the goods and are, like, clearly there for one purpose. But then you have Zane, who's, like, this little boy who's just there as a demo, and it's like, what? I don't know, it's just very jarring for me. Yeah, I don't recall Zane having anything to do with the desert. I could be wrong about that, because it's been ages since I've played Fire Emblem 3. No, I'm pretty yeah, sure he does it. He's just, like, traveling. Around. Just a weird choice, <laughs> in my opinion. Just a very weird choice. Yeah. And then he and still then has his be... monstrous HP. Oh yeah. Yeah, that, that. that's the best thing about him. Actually, they could have. I, I really wish they had given him a super boon in HP instead of giving it to defense. It could have been fun to also see, like, I don't know, like, uh, what is it? Sudden panic on a demoted unit? Cause like, do a lot okay. of people still run that? It's it's okay in summoner duels. Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, weird choice. Yeah, and then there's like the obvious debate woman. Of course, the the three women yeah. and the and the like the guy. So you got Nyla with another yeah. surge skill. Yeah, I like that skill. I have no idea who to like give it to though, because so many of my units are built for speed nowadays. It, like. When I saw this, I was like, oh, I it it looks tempting, but I also just don't know who I would give it to that doesn't want Surge Sparrow instead. Yeah, yeah. like, speed is just the meta right now, so just just keep, um, s um, what's it called? Surge Sparrow? Yeah. I, I feel like this would be good on a unit with, like, automatic follow-up, which is, like, every yeah. fucking unit they release. Well, yeah, most of the units that I run don't get that because they're old. <laughs> but it, oh, it'd yeah. probably be pretty good on Atri, actually. Can range yes. can range unit can they get 
sturdy surge or is it or is it just like no surge I, for ranged no. units? I just I remembered have, it's I'm melee not sure. only. It's melee okay. only. Alright, oh. so melee only then. Oh my god, ranged it's... units don't get shit. I'm waiting for like mages to get something good. <laughs> they can't because they're already so overpowered. It's weird. It's it, you have to find a unit that already has like a guaranteed follow up, but also wants a oh, god. over the speed. <laughs> I just, I just touched her weapon and I got assaulted. <laughs> that almost eats up the entire page. <laughs> it's four paragraphs. This weapon is four paragraphs. It's like, not even is... four paragraphs. You can literally... All of this could be summarized in just... Okay, I don't remember if it was with you guys, but like people were saying if they can just make like a glossary type of effect on um, the description. Yes. So like you just put like Canto Rem. Okay. And oh. it's highlighted. You press it, and then you get another like little box s explaining like what the canto is. Instead yeah, of having yeah. all this in your face. <laughs> exactly. It's insane. Just imagine, like someone commented this on one of my videos. Imagine if you're a brand new player starting Faye today, and you pull Nyla, and you go to read what she does. Isn't this like overwhelming if you're a new <laughs> player? <laughs> yeah. <coughs> So, like, I, they need to streamline the weapon effects a lot more. Just make the text less, you know, daunting for new players to look at. It's a lot. It's a lot. Yeah, Nyla does things. Of course, plus five. Plus five, because cause that's what every unit gets nowadays. Plus five to all stats. And then, um... Neutralizes effects that guarantee most follow-up attacks or prevent units' follow-up attacks. Okay, no follow-up. The best, best skill in the game. That's like the the gen gen six starter pack. You have to have plus five to all stats and like no follow up built in. Does she, does she get a guaranteed follow up or does she just have high speed? She's just really fast. Oh, yeah, she's fast. She's oh. base forty three speed. Jesus oh, Christ, that's, that's not fair. <laughs> base forty three neutral speed. That's not fair. Oh my god. But yeah, sturdy surge. I mean, she's a good unit. She's um, a real good. <laughs> you can almost make Nyla emblem for some reason. It's true. She has. There's three Nylas in the game now. <laughs> and then we got. In... Yeah. You're gonna say Tacho? Carla... <laughs> he I, loved I was her. Just in... <laughs> say, I, I I love Nyla in Radiant Dawn. She's such an awesome character. Because there are all the royal the Lagoose royals are busted. Yeah. I'm just <laughs> sad I love them that... all. They're so awesome. <laughs> One of my favorite Lagoos is Ronolf, and I'm just sad that he hasn't gotten any alts yet. Wait till next New Year's. He's probably going to get a New Year's alt. Yeah, I I'm kind of surprised he hasn't, though, because he's one of the most popular ones. Exactly. And both of the, <laughs> the, the Beast Lagoos that we got this past New Year's both referenced him. Both Kiza and um and Liar, like, are, like, practically in love with him. And it was just, it was such a, such a slap in the face to like, not get a Ronolf alt. <laughs> Yeah. And then this stupid ass Carla that got got um this crazy ass weapon. She's a she's like a special spamming machine because of that crazy weapon and then coupled with special spiral. Like it's pretty gross actually. It's yeah. like it's curtains with other shit combined. Much. <laughs> Can you imagine this same weapon on a dagger unit who has lethality? Like how crazy <laughs> would that be? Oh my god, that'd be so fucking sexy. Oh god. <laughs> wow. Like a bow unit with dead eye. I, oh. I think I said this in my trailer video, but it was like, if they had gave the same weapon to a bow or dagger, it would be the best weapon in the game, probably. It would. It would. It literally would. Of course, they would yeah. never make it inheritable. It's gonna be, that unit's gonna be like the best unit in the game. It's gross. Because you get, you know, it's got the slang effect, and then it just, at the start of turn one, it gives you, it's a super times pulse, because it, you know, grand special cooldown count minus two. Uh, so yeah, you just have it ready to go from the first turn. That's oh my god, they were holding back because they did not give her times pulse. If they did that, they probably could have given her, like, um, they could have been like, okay, give her base, um, blazing wind in her kit, and that would have oh. been so fucked up. <laughs> that would have been nasty, then she gets yeah, plus I, six I, to attack at speed, because, of course, why not? And then, um, uh, true damage with speed or something. 
Oh, that's so nice. I wish we had that on a special or something. <laughs> yeah. I think the only bad thing I can say about Carla is that she doesn't have Kanto. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Why oh. she does everything she needs to. Yeah, I would agree. It's the only thing she's kind of missing. Because if she had that, then she could like... She'll be like unstoppable. <laughs> would. Yeah. I, I mean, you you could give her repel or not repel, but close call for the B skill. But then, you know, if special spiral on her, kind of shaky because she relies on using the specials. Is she this does, your way yeah. of introducing balance, Is? When you released stuff like Fallen Edelgard last last year. <laughs> ah. <laughs> okay, here's the unit that I'm like kind of really upset about. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you upset? Tell us. Because <laughs> they had to give her gray waves on a dancer <laughs> with three movement. <laughs> yeah, and she's on a horse for no reason. Yeah. <laughs> she is riding on a horse in the desert, which we all know, if you've ever played a Fire Emblem game, have shit movement in desert maps. Make it make sense. Make yeah. it make sense. Oh god, as if AR wasn't bad enough, they released this, so now- <laughs> So there's this. We just Speaking got- of it, We just got Duo Dagger with Pathfinder. And- oh. And Sigurd, Legendary Sigurd is already out there. <laughs> being a menace. Yeah, but, <laughs> see, the thing is, the dagger you just mentioned is not a mythic hero, so you can use her in any season. That's why, the dagger? So there, there's Pathfinder. There's yeah. legendary Sigurd, and then there's Azura that can give like, like, the the um harmonic like Sith. No wait, no. Um. Yeah, that can give um. Oh wait, no, 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 no. Only infantry and flying can move one extra space. Okay, never mind. Thank God. I lied. Thank she could, but God. she could still keep up. <laughs> Ew! You could use this on Yuri, and it would it go? Would it stack? No, no it doesn't. It doesn't oh, stack. Not. Thank God. <laughs> I'm thinking more like use it on Atri or use it on Carla from this banner. Yeah. Them move three spaces. Oh God! AR as if AR didn't suck. <laughs> oh my God. She's. I, I think more so though. I'm more interested in this unit in player duels than for the raids because I feel like eight the raids is I don't a lost cares cause. About eight the raids anymore <laughs> compared yeah. to summoner duels. I it's forgot summoner PvP. duels is a thing. I like won't touch it with a ten foot pole, but oh yeah, and then plus six to all stats if like two adjacent allies for one turn. Yeah, I, I think that was a little unnecessary when she's already doing gray waves. Like, oh, I, did she also need to give everyone all sets of six two? Jesus, I think like, they were they were trying they were probably trying to emulate the um, like this li literally is like trying to emulate legendary Azura because legendary Azura her weapon is what gives the um, yeah, I guess those bonus. buffs. But they're like, hey, let's put it in this weapon and just get plus six to all stats because people are people were using like her attack tactic or yeah, or like was... blaze dance or something. Yeah. Jeez. And then of course Kanto, because why not? Let's just give the dancer Kanto. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I I know that dancers have been able to use <laughs> Kanto. I just like haven't like run into one before. So like the thought of this like coming straight out of the box with Kanto is just gross. She'll just dance up somebody and then just run away. And then cross spur rest, but we all know that this uh yeah, whatever. Um yeah. it would have been funnier if they gave her cross spur speed or something. That would have been fucked up. <laughs> speed yeah, speed would have been crazy or attack, but we already just got attack, so they didn't want yeah. to do it again, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Now I'm just kind of bummed out because it kind of makes Duo Sigurd a little redundant in terms of, like, utility. Because she just straight up gives you plus six to, like, all stats or whatever. Yeah, I mean, yeah, her... She, she's just better. Yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, she's even better, just... like, flat out. Yeah, I mean, just look at her harmonic skill. It's all, It's literally significantly better than whatever he's got. 
Yeah, Duo Just Server just has a, like a reposition, which is extremely benign. And this is just like, oh, here, another action. Because IS seems... IS can't... Just can't make another skill for like dancers. Of course, it has to be, um, oh, here's another action from yeah. the same title. Okay, whatever. We've seen it done before, but... And like it's like, again, why can't like Jen... Sorry, book one dancers get refined we know that they're not they're never going to compete against units like this so like <laughs> what is the risk you want to know something else that's be interesting is that because that azura has gray waves she could potentially get gray waves too when we see the remix on legendary azura no i don't think so because um Legendary Tiki got with everyone, but her Halloween form couldn't upgrade the with everyone the the second tier. So oh, I don't really? I don't think oh. yeah I don't think that the this Azura will get it. I'm pretty sure that that's only restricted to the legendary itself. Not okay, okay. not I, universal. I didn't know that. I know that. <laughs> yeah, wow, that's what I've heard. Yeah, because yeah. I've okay. seen people try right. it with um Halloween Tiki, and no, she doesn't get access to that. That because sucks. I'm thinking, I'm thinking like in terms of Ike and Ryoma, because when they got their remixes, the other variants of them got the same weapon refine too. So it's like, mm. it's thinking, oh, what if they actually do it with Azura too, and she gets Gray Waves upgrade? Would have been yeah. insane. That would have been. Oh God, no, <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Um, and besides the with everyone too, I think that's already like a. Far safe skill, so of course the Halloween Tiki isn't gonna get it. But we never know. I mean, who know? I don't even know what they could possibly do for Legendary Azura because she's. All... <laughs> I don't know what what else they're gonna give her. <laughs> yeah, she will be the first dancer to get a refine, right? I think so. Yes. Yeah. She's the only Legendary dancer. Yeah makes me sad huh do you guys know who's next for the uh remix um i think i've heard people mention that we're supposed to be seeing harid next and then i don't know who the other one is i think people are mentioning either either air or who is the little red-headed girl yoon sorry i was forgetting her name <laughs> yeah people were saying either yoon or air Alongside Harid. So Mythic Heroes, that would be pretty interesting. Oh, they desperately yeah. need it. They do. Yeah. I think chronologically that makes the most sense. Especially based on the lineup of heroes that we already have, like, you know, semi-confirmed for the upcoming Mythics and Legendary Banners. Huh. Huh. I wonder yeah. if they're gonna do, like... No, they're probably not. They're probably going to bunch together a Legendary and a Mythic. I would like to see them do, like, Legendaries stay with Legendaries and Mythics stay with Mythics, only to get things to go faster by knowing IS. We're probably going to be waiting a long time for, like, Mythic refines. Well, I'd yeah. appreciate one for Air because I have to use her to score higher because I have a lot of merges on her, and it sucks. It's <laughs> like, I, if I could make the choice to not use her i absolutely would not but i have to because she scores higher than my other mythics dude but she's my highest seven. score mythic and i don't even bother using her i have like plus five of her and i just don't use her because there's no point anymore <laughs> yeah, yeah we, we've gotten to the point in ar where like you don't have enough merges on the mythics it's really tough to stay top 3k now and... don't you have a plus 10 milla yeah, well, I, I mean, of course, I'm going to use her, but here's <laughs> the thing. I have, okay, so I have Mila at plus 10, I have Air at plus 7, and I have Peony at plus 7. Oh, my God. So, you know, you know <gasps> what the problem is with all three of those units? They're outdated. Well, that too, but they don't grant slot 7 or a slot 6. Oh, right. yeah, I forgot wow. you got, you got, like, screwed. Oh, yeah, I forgot you got screwed over by but, that. <laughs> so... If I want to score as high as possible, I can't have access to slot six, basically. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm fighting five man fights against seven enemies. Yikes. Oh, that's stressful. Oh. And then you pull for dagger and IS is like, here, have a free light mythic. Yeah. <laughs> that, that was the worst. 
I actually would not have summoned on that banner if I knew we were going to get Ash. Not even a month later. When, when did Ash come out? A month later. We got Literally. Wait, what do you mean? <laughs> Wait, what happened? Wait, sorry. I feel like I missed something. What happened? Okay, so remember when they released Atri and Thor? Yeah. Okay, so banner had dagger on it, right? And oh. up until that point, I had no unit that granted slot six for light. So I was like, okay, I might as well summon on this banner. Atri and Thor both look pretty good, so I, I don't feel like I'm getting shafted. And then Dagger is also on green, right? So right. I summoned on that banner. I sniped green, and I ended up getting all three of them, so I was pretty happy. <laughs> then <laughs> come next month, they give us Ash for free, who is way better than Dagger. And she also grants slot six for Light Season. So <laughs> all that time, I could have just not summoned on the Atri and Thor banner and saved my orbs. Still yeah. came out with the slot six mythic. Yeah. I hate when I S does this. Oh god. <laughs> yeah. That sucks. I'm sorry to hear that. Oh god. <laughs> now I wouldn't. I was gonna say I wouldn't discount dagger because I mean, Ash's stupid like warping effect. It's really good. It's really fucking good. But also, really I think I also. I also keep Dagger on my team only because of the plus five res that she grants. That's I think that's worth keeping her around. <laughs> yeah, that, that's definitely nice. The plus five res. I will say she has a good blessing. But honestly, I don't even think it's close. It's just Ash is so much better. She's a beast unit, so she combos well with Fallen Edelgard. Oh. Even more so because you can let Edelgard just jump five spaces ahead with Ash's jump effect. Right. She can attack, she can gale force, she can attack again. It's just nuts. And especially in summoner duels too, like Fallen <coughs> Edelgard and Ash team is one of the more popular setups that people use. I thought people don't bother to use Fallen Edelgard in summoner duels. I heard she was like dead weight or something. Oh, no, 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 no. No, she's she is really good. Huh. Can also, you tell no, I, can you tell I don't play summoner duels? <laughs> I would say it's more so now than it was before because we at least had the null follow up captain seal last yes. round, which was pretty good at dealing with Fallen Edelgard, but oh, we don't have that anymore. So, oh, Tacho, you have to tell me about that new that quick draw skill because I heard a lot of people losing their shit over it. Oh, it, it does nothing actually. It's if both people use it, it does nothing. What is it exactly? But it's also in that same regard, you have to use it. You don't have a choice. So I, I think they did a pretty good job balancing it where it's a problem if you don't have it. But as long as you have it, it has no relevance. But doesn't that make the other like, skills redundant then? <laughs> yeah, but it, it's also a way to balance the captain skills because it makes them a non-factor. Right. So what does this skill do? Okay, so if you have the quick draw seal... You always go first at the start of the next turn, which is insane in Summoner Duels oh. to be able to do that. But yeah. if, your op if your opponent has the seal equipped as well, then it has no effect. Mm, that can, yeah. Because, oh God, that gives you a lot of control if you're able to manipulate when you go, well, you know, consistently going first at the, you know, each turn. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, I don't think it's unbalanced or anything. I just they actually balanced it properly if anything by making it so good that you always have to use it but then also making it do nothing if both players have it okay i i can see where where you're going out with that okay i was gonna be like how is that balanced if but i was like okay i i mean i sort of agree with what you're saying wiley like if 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 it's so important to have it that it makes the others the other options useless, then I don't think that that's necessarily balanced either. But I understand how, like two like two opposing teams having it canceling each other out. I can understand how in that respect it could be balanced. Yeah, that's exactly what it was. So I'm like, oh, I was like, what? Huh? And then you explain them like, okay, well, you can't yeah, both go first. <laughs> it makes sense. There's, there's also another thing though is if you go captain hunting and you slay their captain and you keep yours, then all of a sudden, you have the quick draw seal, and they don't. So that's another way you can use it to 
mess with people, I guess. But for the most part, I, I just equip the Captain Seal on the unit that's not going to fight. So I can always just have it active. I typically tend to run a Dancer on my setups. Up until now, I was using the Harmonic Dorothea, but I, I might actually switch to the new Azura. Oh, and I'm God. just going to give her the Captain Steel, so... <laughs> it's going to be really hard for people to attack her if I have her all the way in the back. I haven't much. really played much, like... I haven't played Summoner's Duels in ages, but, like... Me too. <laughs> what, didn't you usually want your Captain to be nailing the kill so that they could, like, get more... So you could earn more points that way? Yes and no. Mainly because... It's going to be a battle of attrition, really. Most of the fights I've had just go until someone KOs all the enemy team. Right, that's true. It, it's very rare where there's a win based on points, I've found. Unless oh, you're I see. really trying to turtle. Mm -hmm. So, as long as you're trying to like just KO all the enemies, it doesn't really matter too much. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. That's funny. Mostly, like, the only time I ever watch Summoner Duels are, like, when I'm watching, like, Marbles' stream. Shout out to Marbles. And then also Promise's stream. Shout out to Promise as well. And, like, I know that Marbles has, like, a fun time using Reeve to, like, fuck with people <laughs> that have, like, the... Yeah, Reeve is really good. Yeah, he, like, brings his Reeve and he just, like, fucks with people with their extra movement shenanigans. Yeah, he shuts down Yuri pretty hard if you can... Ooh. And it's to get him. Have you used them? Yeah, I, I built my Reeve like crazy. He's decked out to the max. I have him <laughs> oh, at, damn. Have him at plus two. I have mirror impact on him. I have attack and res push four. I have lull attack and res. I have times pulse. I have joint drive attack. I, I gave him like everything. <laughs> Jeez, wow. So he really just fucks with everyone then? <laughs> oh, but... He's genuinely like an actually good Grand Hero Battle unit, regardless of stall ploy, because if you if you look at it like this, his weapon just inflicts all stats minus five on the enemy with the lowest speed. Then yeah. he targets within two spaces. So you could just look at it as his weapon being all stats up five. And then it also gives him the attack and breast up six, and it has minus one special trigger. Which is pretty good. I, I don't yeah. see a problem with that. And it's not even, like, all stats of five, actually, because your allies can take advantage of that when they're fighting. Uh -huh. So the debuff effect that he has is really freaking good. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's weird seeing them give a good weapon to such a strange character like that. Like, the most randomest character they could think <laughs> yeah. of, and the weapon is, like, so good. <laughs> yeah. Huh. He's the first good Tome Grand Hero battle unit we've had since Aversa. Oh, we've had so many. We've had so many with really forgettable weapons. Yeah. Makes you wonder what Aversa's refined is going to be. I hope they give her something, like, stupid. <laughs> you know, I, I think the main issue with a lot of the Tome Grand Hero battle units is that they limited them to a certain term number. Yes. To, mm -hmm. Yes. Like what they did with Reeve, they just let him do his effect at the start of every turn. It's nice. Yeah, like Marbles will Marbles would use um Veld, and Veld has that turn that turn limit thing on his weapon that it just like inf inflicts like gravity or something. Yeah. Trophy. Think which, that's what it's called. Yeah, which is like. I guess in like the terms of summoner duels, it's an it's enough because there's like five turns. Yeah. I guess you can say. Huh. You know, maybe there is hope for grand hero battle units this year. Well, you're using one right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like Yanfe. I think he's great. Yeah, he's stupid with double damage reduction. <laughs> Oh, you, yeah. what are you running on him? I didn't even see it. What is he, Did you give him double damage reduction? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I had a spare... Um, oh, nice. A spare Sari, so I gave him double damage reduction, and it's really stupid. You gave him red... Oh, you killed the... um. That's a red feud. Um, What's her name? Yeah, Flavia. Because I had so many, and I was like, I, I, I guess. I don't have anything to give the Yim face. So I was like, here, take it. So yeah, he literally just like... He won't die. It's so funny. <laughs> yeah. 
And people yeah, said really people said double damage reduction was a bad idea. I don't know. It's it's pretty funny here. <laughs> I gave mine no follow up. I also yeah, gave mine no too. follow up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think no follow up might be the best weapon and the best skill in the game. I don't know. Just a thought. <laughs> I don't know if I'd say it's the best skill, but I think it's definitely the most important. It's, it's like if you don't have it, you're just susceptible to all sorts of shenanigans. Mm -hmm. Which is all they released last year shenanigans. I don't even like, <laughs> I can't even remember like what they released last year. I don't know if my memory's bad or if the power creep was just so bad last year that I just don't remember what happened. The thing about no follow up that I always find really strange is that, like, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. The characters that introduced no follow up were the Adrift Corins, right? Were they the first ones it brought? Yeah. It, and it's like that period, that meta back then, like it, it was, it was nowhere near as speed oriented as it is now. So I feel like, or at least, that's just you know my in my experience, like the need for no follow up wasn't nearly as you know the pressure wasn't as high back then, and it's kind of weird how it became so much more of a necessity like over the past well, year or two right here here's the thing about no follow-up when it came out i think they made it that way because of surter being so dominant in the arena you could just give him sturdy stance four and wary fighter and there was like no uh, way to kill him at the time right so uh -huh. by having no follow-up you could negate wary fighter and just hit him twice and kill him mm -hmm. i see i forgot that Surter was like a thing back then. <laughs> yeah, re remember when Surter was OP? Remember when Surter was in Tempest Trials and people complained and Ayas had to remove him? <laughs> yeah, he's. he's <laughs> I mean, that just goes to show his weapon is still like one of the craziest, even though. I, I wouldn't even say it's been power crept. It's just like free 20 damage at the start of the turn. That's so powerful. Still. Do you still use him in Arena, Tacho? Sometimes. I, <laughs> it depends on if he has the right blessing, because I actually am running low on blessings, because I have to switch him up every season to score high enough. But if, if I happen to have a season where Surter has the right blessing, I'll still throw him on the team every now and then. <laughs> Love that. <laughs> and he's eventually going to get a refine. Oh His my god. <laughs> I can't even imagine what they're going to give him. Another plus 20 damage. <laughs> no. Imagine if it's at the start of the turn, all enemies take 20 damage at the start of the turn. It's like a super buffed upheaval. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it'd be kind of sick if they will. If he had like... How would null follow up on a Surter run? Like if they built a null follow up into his weapon, like... It probably There's looks no something really... like it's probably looks something like um what is it dragon's ire I guess like uh, oh I see what you're saying yeah the one that negates impact effects and then mm -hmm. you can still double attack something yeah like that maybe but to be honest he doesn't even need it you just <laughs> hit him you hit them with the twenty damage from Sinmara and then he just kills them in one hit after that now if they probably increase the range with Sinmara like all oh, units in four spaces like oh my god that would <laughs> be oh, yeah. like how they did with Walher with literally four freaking spaces it's so true <laughs> yeah oh man what if they do end up doing that oh shit <laughs> there's so many things they can do with sir to make him crazy yeah tacho's just waiting like okay i guess show me what you can do because walhart got such a crazy good refine that refine is so stupid <laughs> it's so yeah. good it is so good for no reason <laughs> i don't think it's for no reason though because walhart was pretty important in awakening no yeah i'm not denying that i'm just like i i don't know it just <sighs> it's like what the fuck <laughs> that's a free unit what are you guys doing yeah <laughs> that's definitely where the surprise came from yeah it's like, like why yeah. did they give a free unit something so good yeah it's like i don't know like when i think for some reason this is the character that comes to mind like i also think of like death knight from three houses who like was like a very prominent recurring antagonist throughout you know the academy phase and so it's just very surprising that his weapon was shit on arrival and yet i mean and while hearts getting like this amazing treatment i don't know like probably not the best comparison but it's like what can't what comes to mind 
I mean, Death Knight could Death be getting Knight? his refined suit. Well, maybe in like three years. Refined yet, right? So, <laughs> yeah. I don't know when they're gonna refine him, but was we'll he book see. three? No, I don't remember uh, actually. Well, which one was book three again? No, that one. No, book no, no, no. Three no. was hell. Uh. Uh. Wait, Three Houses wasn't even out yet. Never mind. No, yes, it was. The last chapter in Book Three was the Sacred Stones banner of 2019, the one that had Garrick, Ross, Cormag. That was the, the the last chapter of Book Three. So any banners that came before that, including the Byleth, Edelgar, Dimitri, Claude banner, as well as the Hilda, Hubert, Mercy, Petra banner, those are in there. Those Ooh. are in Book Three. Let me see if I can find them. You can actually check in the story. If you go to the story and then you check the chapters, you'll be able to see really? which banners in book three. Uh, this is very important. Uh. <laughs> this is very important. <laughs> <laughs> book three feels like ages ago. Book three yeah, was so... peak fey for me. Yeah! yeah, yeah. Ah! <laughs> All right. So there we go. Okay. Crazy. Okay. Yeah! He was! The Reaper cometh. That makes sense. Ah, they're old. Ow. <laughs> they're old and outdated. Huh. Hmm. Did we exhaust every topic? <laughs> <laughs> um. I, I think so. I We didn't yeah. really talk about, his, uh, what's his name? Dean. We didn't talk right. about Dean. Oh. Right. Oh, my God. How <laughs> could we have forgotten? He's awesome. I love him. Yeah, I me too. too. I want to plus 10 him. Me too. Well, yeah, I might even <laughs> fodder off. Um, uh, I might fodder off uh, my son at Lake Yarn. Give him Canto. Oh. <laughs> All right. That That's talking the crazy talk there but okay. <laughs> wait i would do it too that's amazing <laughs> i love that i mean i don't care for Lego. oh but Lego has good skills oh that yeah. sucks she has swift sparrow um canto and oh damn okay, it but lots <laughs> of people have swift sparrow you could if you can find a unit that has rouse attack speed three you can grab the the canto and the you know rouse attack four a leg yarn can kill ascended fjorm yeah that's true i've seen it happen it's it's great <laughs> wait yeah. leg yarn can kill fjorm yes yeah, she can oh that's if, surprising i think it's if she is it can she kill fjorm if she's buffed up correctly or she just straight up kills fjorm no all you, all you do is just give her guard that's it uh, <laughs> that's why is 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 is. won't release the guard seal <laughs> <laughs> yeah we That's skipped over Dean. So sorry. He has no skills, but the weapon's pretty fun. The weapon's His artwork decent. is so good. It is. Yeah. I love, love the special artwork. artwork. I think it's really pretty. Yeah, his, his boomerang weapon thing looks like it's from Breath of the Wild, actually. <laughs> A lot of people yeah. made that comparison. <laughs> yeah. Very cool, I guess. I just, I just wish they could... It's year six, and they're still giving us odd speed wave. Like, are you fucking serious? They could have given, like, they could have done, like, another attack speed oath or something. <laughs> like, yeah, they yeah, did with know, Ninja I'm, Shamir. <laughs> honestly, I feel like we're at the point where they could just give us level four skills for free. Like, yeah. A, 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 let's say attack and speed solo four. Maybe they don't want to give us that one specifically because it's probably the best one, but. Solo four skills are only a one point differential from the level three ones. Yeah, it says, why not? Not just give us one for literally three. just one point, and then they slap the shiny golden border on it, and yeah, they yeah. beat it. Well, I mean, yeah, it scores better in arena, but who the hell cares about arena anymore? <laughs> um, like what is all the all of the whales that care about arena have their arena team set. Like that's it. They oh. haven't made any updates. I, I have not changed any of my arena units in ages, basically. I just use the same units all all the time. <laughs> Only thing I change is the bonus hero. So I, I I don't see why they can't give us a level four skill for free. I both love and hate his weapon because 
his weapon is so similar to the courtly fan like it gives you it has the exact same condition and it gives you the exact same bonus of attack and speed plus five but whereas the courtly fan gives you no follow-up this one gives you pain like yeah deals, or i'm sorry uh what's it called savage blow uh deal seven damage to target info it's a little more like pain because it does hit the target as well yeah you're right you're right it's but it, it makes, makes me... it reminds me of um Jafar's weapon minus the magic units can't counterattack, right, yeah. and that's it an old weapon. That, <laughs> yeah, they're so similar, but like in my opinion, one is clearly superior, and it's the one that came out literally on the last banner that we got. Um, Which one was that? Oh, courtly uh, fan. Yeah, because Renak uh, literally has the courtly fan. They just re you know like reskinned it as a regular weapon. Right. Right. Yeah. At least so. it's in the summoning pool finally. Yeah, it is. It just like it, it annoys me that the weapons are so similar, but in my opinion, one is clearly superior. Of course, they have to give attack and speed plus five because attack and speed is all you need in this meta. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much. It's still well, a solid dagger. Yeah, I was kind of disappointed it didn't have deep wounds on it, like how they gave it to Zane. Oh, yeah, that would have was... been so mean. <laughs> That would have been, so been nice. That would have made this like the mo the best inheritable weapon at that point. Like, yeah. The same vein. I, I don't see why they didn't just do it though. That should have been the theme of um this banner, just deep wounds. Yeah, like just take out the attack and speed up five. Even though it is nice, he he could trade that for deep wounds. I think that would have made this dagger a little bit more interesting. Yeah. But by no means is it like a bad dagger. It's a pretty good dagger. It's just like there's just other more coveted effects in this meta. Yeah, like ouch pouch with lethality. Oh god, <laughs> that'd be so fun on him. A cab with well, I was gonna say a cab with lethal lethality, but that's Yuri. I mean, I mean, Yuri oh, Yuri well, is the best dagger yeah. unit in the game, and then they yeah. gave us Dean. <laughs> well, that's also why I want to get him the courtly fan or you know Renex dagger because. Cavs can't get null follow up otherwise, so getting it on him would be very nice. Yeah. Oh my god, and he can do like no follow up desperation if you don't care for scoring. Huh. Okay, <laughs> I guess we can all unanimously agree that Dean was a good free to play unit that they gave us. Yeah, totally gonna plus 10 as soon as we get access. Same. Yeah. Now we covered everything. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I guess we exhausted every topic. It's almost well, a, an hour in. Wally, you're not gonna collect those rewards. I can't. I'm free to play. I I've <laughs> changed. I've mended my ways. I just I just hate Wait. how it goes straight to the screen. <laughs> That's what I was trying to allude to. Is that? <laughs> They, they're like, oh, you you want these orbs? Too bad. And That's funny because when you clear the quest and you don't mean to, it still shows on that little menu that pops up after each battle. And of course, you open this and it goes straight to Fate Pass. I'm like, no, leave it on Flag Strike. Yeah. Oh, you know what I hate the most? If you go into any fight, like just try to go into a training tower fight right now. Then look at the message that pops up. Auto start is... requires Fey Pass. This is oh. the most annoying thing. It actually irks me because where it says go to the shop to go get the Fey Pass, that's actually where the fight button used to be <laughs> when I had the Fey Pass. So it's like I have to move my finger a l oh. just that slight bit lower, and it really irks me. I was not aware. Well, I wouldn't be aware of that. But <laughs> that is interesting to point out. <laughs> yeah. So instead of pressing fight, I'm like constantly pressing go to the shop now, and it's driving me nuts. Oof. The only thing I I really feel it is, of course, with forging bonds, and like I have to literally like click it, go to the battle, press and fight, like press auto battle, wait for it to finish, go back press it again and like rinse and repeat it, that's the only thing that irks me <laughs> yeah it's exhausting yeah i'm just like i don't have time for your games i us <laughs> <laughs> yeah but yeah i think that's a good place to 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 wrap things up though 
Well, thank you for having us, Wylia. Oh, thank I mean, you for being it's here. It's been a hot minute. Yeah. It's it been a hot been. minute since I've been on here, so always yeah. nice to come back. Mm -hmm. Glad we, we all survived. <laughs> we all survived, like, today to be able to record, because we're, we're all not doing so hot. <laughs> yeah. Well, is the peak of well, good health here. <laughs> I'm healthy, but that doesn't mean that my mental health is any better. <laughs> <laughs> We're like suffering physically and Jordy's suffering mentally. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, thank you guys for joining me. It's always it's always a pleasure to have you guys here. Yeah, likewise, of course. Anytime, I'm always down. All right, everyone. I want to wish you guys good luck and and your summonings. I hope you get exactly who you wanted. Good luck with your Tempest Trial grinds as well. I hope you make yeah. good use of Dean. And I'll oh, and next, oh, go next time we meet, it'll be the anniversary. The next <gasps> Tempest Trial will be for the anniversary. Oh, yeah, the anniversary is coming up. They better not disappoint. They better not. Yeah, well, I mean, prepare for disappointment. <laughs> yeah. I mean, six years in, and we know IS doesn't know how to do anniversaries. Great. Dude, the, the Dokkan <laughs> battle anniversary yeah, is... <laughs> All right, so... The anniversary, we don't even know what it is. It's in two weeks from now, and I'm already, like, hyped as hell for that because they, they've they been doing so many, like, lead-ups to the anniversary. They had this little campaign where you could do all these separate fights. It, it was like the old Masters fights where you fight all of the people that trained Goku throughout his life. Oh, that's sick. So, wow. You, you fight, like, Master Roshi, you fight King Kai, you fight Supreme Kai, and it just that's goes cool. on and on. And... Every time you win, you get this new currency that said you're going to be able to exchange for Dragon Stones when the anniversary starts. Oh, wow. That's fun. So that, that's like if they did Dev Say Thanks maps in Fae, and you, you get like five orbs for completing each one or something. I, I don't know what the exchange rate is going to be yet on those things that they gave us, but it seems pretty promising. It's pretty hype stuff and we still don't even know what the anniversary is yet <laughs> this is why like tacho hasn't spent like money on this game because he's gonna spend it all on dokkan because he knows he can get something that he wants and he won't feel bad about it <laughs> yeah i i mean in this game what do we have to look forward to with the anniversary oh oh free lin do... <laughs> oh. <laughs> well <laughs> they have choose your legends again Oh, but that's whatever. A hero yeah. rises. Who do you think is going to win this time? Oh, yeah. Bride Catria. Yeah, probably Catria, actually. Catria's uh, fucking nuts. If everyone votes like Fallen Edelgard, you've, we've all failed as like a society. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If they vote oh. Ninjoran, we've all failed. Well, uh. I would vote for her because I want her fodder. Oh, well. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but like Bright Catria, the pos the um what is it? The what she can bring to the table, all the crazy shenanigans you can pull, that's Disgusting. an easy win right there. Easy win. Yes. Yes. Yeah. She's a must have on Aether Raid's defense. I, I can't yeah. say that about any other unit right now. Yeah, I honestly don't know. There's a lot of units that are like contenders, like I wonder if people would still vote for Yuri, probably. Um Huh, that's a no, good question. I, I, I don't think so because he was just on a recent legendary banner and he was also sparkable this time, I think, because they had the Fate Pass sparking for the first time. Oh, but we're talking about a Hero Rises, right? That's what people vote yeah. for. Yeah, yeah. No, oh, I don't, I I don't like... think so. I don't think so. I think they might do, like, last year's Hero Rises was fucking ridiculous. I think this year, with what happened in 2021, oh my god. <laughs> Whoever wins, <laughs> I think we all win pretty much, no yeah. matter who it is. But this is your like PSA to vote for Bright Catria and just destroy the game. Who cares? <laughs> I, I would say Bright Catria is probably a good pick. Oh, that like I don't know, like if I'm pretty sure people did like best unit released in 2021, but like if Bright Catria was not number one, hmm. oh wait, Fallen Edelgar came out that year. Never mind. Yeah, nah, she's she's good, but not Bride Catria good. Yeah, that's the tier list. Catria might, Catria might actually have the best weapon in the game. Oof. It's just, it's actually stupid. 
it's guidance and brave brave effect oh god <laughs> yeah but... yeah <sighs> okay and well. on that note <laughs> this is where we really <laughs> say goodbye <laughs> yep Alrighty then so... all right guys peace out yeah goodbye everyone Bye-bye. bye bye bye